Kenyans have been reluctant in remitting the monthly payments for the National Hospital and Insurance Fund NHIF. According to NHIF CEO Peter Camuño, 5.7 million accounts have been declared dormant after the insured failed to fund the national insurer. However, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Secretary General now says that the government must build trust among Kenyans on NHIF. Here's Rachel Duarte with this story. The government continues to promise Kenyans on the achievement of the universal health coverage in its Big Four agenda, where with the NHIF funds, Kenya can access medical health care services. However, many Kenyans continue to endure challenges of accessing health care. <laughs> I couldn't say dear. Ile my tajin ile shiden ilikuwa nayo. Ile nisaidia tu kuchukua dawa lakini matibabu walikata. Somehow in a way kuna a lot yenye it's not helping. Like let's say right now like mambo na corona etc. It's not helping a lot of Kenyans because I signed it with any bill at all. Mimi naona nisaidi. Kwa kwa nini? Kwa maana mwananchi kwa kawaida anaweza kuancheka. Na ida sabo zipatari una perekwa, ni ida mbao una perekwa panado, ama ida dawa onando na ndike wando ununue. According to the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers Secretary General, many Kenyans do not trust the NHIF firm, saying it is costly and complicated to understand. The union now says that in order for NHIF to regain trust from Kenyans, the government must allocate adequate resources and ensure that there is zero discrimination on offering health services. Today when you appear to us and preach to us about NHIF, people feel excited and they start paying. But when they turn to get services, they find they are disappointed. They are actually paying more than what you can be able to pay for them. So they retract and actually withdraw from NHF. With the current medical crisis in the country, many have raised concerns of the inability to access healthcare services in various hospitals across the country. In order to achieve universal health coverage, the government should implement measures and create an enabling environment to eradicate poor health services and understaffing by the medical health personnel. Rachel Ndwati.